Compassion in Action. June 14, 2014. If you are able to let go of your emotions, regardless if they are positive or negative, who would you be now and how would your life be different? Have you ever pondered such an idea bright hearts? Considering emotions are just that, emotions, they are neither positive nor negative. What they are, are just different and unique aspects of the endless wholeness that you all are. The more you reject the emotions that have been used to define and judge as what is considered to be negative or positive, the more you are not embracing oneness or wholeness, and definitely you are not allowing the treasures of gifts emotions can bring you. If you think about it bright hearts, if consciousness created all and everything, and if everything that consciousness created is excellent and perfect, doesn't that also conclude that your emotions are also perfect? Every time you push away, suppress, resist, or even deny certain emotions from being revealed, the more they will burst open like a child in a tantrum demanding attention. Try to remember why emotions come about. Remember that emotions appear as a result of your thoughts. Therefore it is the story you are telling, and your thoughts that speak of yourself that have created your emotions, negatively or positively. There is no one forcing you to think a certain way or to feel a certain way. It is you doing the thinking and the feeling. Don't argue with your limitations, for you have none, only what you think you have, because in reality there are endless opportunities, endless doors of new and exciting directions that you have not yet attempted. So if you continue to think that emotions are either positive or negative and that you have little to no control over them, what you are telling people and yourself bright hearts is that you are limited to, that you have no control over your life, and we all know that is farthest from the truth. Instead of labeling a feeling as being positive or negative, what if you merely notice it, learn why it is there, then let it go. If you find yourself feeling frustrated, make what you are feeling something to learn from. Ask yourself, why am I feeling this way, or, what has me feeling ill at ease? Your answers may very well lead you into more self-inquiries, and look at all the fine learning you would be doing of yourself. You will also be learning how to change what has caused the frustration to begin with, how to make it different, less or none at all. Another thing about labeling your emotions being negative or positive also comes from a belief that they can either be changed or cannot be changed. You believe you should not feel anger because anger is considered to be negative, so you create ways to avoid your anger or pretend to not being angry at all. Bright hearts, I beseech you to ask yourself, how often have you misapplied your true strength as anger? You do know during those times when you are feeling angry, your energy is tremendous. When you say no and mean it, it is strong and powerful. Your emotions have so much to teach you of yourself, and so often you deny their lessons. Emotions are natural, they are a living part of you. To deny them, to not allow them to show you your entire being, is to deny your oneness or wholeness. Embrace all that you are, including your emotions. You don't need to label them, for they are just emotions, no more no less. Merely be aware of them, let them guide you to the core of the issues of what has upset you or made you happy. For emotions are neither negative nor positive until you label them as such. Love is also neutral. It is an emotion and is neither negative nor positive. It is merely how you choose to use, accept or deny, that makes it one way or the other. The positive or negative sides are created as a result of your choices and not by the energy of the emotion. Yes there is an infinite amount of love and an endless flow of it, for God is omnipresent, His light and love is everywhere. When you permit love for yourself or share it with others, you dear ones are demonstrating kindness and mercy. Mercy in its simplest form is compassion in action. And it is the action of permitting love to freely flow without restriction or special conditions applied to it, or without judgment. When you permit your love to freely flow, you are also permitting the neutral source of God's empowering love to flow and to pass without interference knowing no one person, animal, plant or thing will be harmed. When you are being merciful towards others' bright hearts, 
You are at that moment acknowledging their divinity and their right as being who they are, and to be open to the flow of love as you yourself, which means as you share your love, your compassion, your mercy, God is also sharing the same things with you. Learn dearest bright hearts what you think defines your emotions as being positive or negative, and how can you learn to treat them with neutrality. Now we end our transmission with the question I asked you as we began. How would you and your life be different without your emotions being labeled negative nor positive? There is more to your emotions just as there is more to you than your external appearance. Feel God's presence and love in each step you take, and know of the mercy and compassion He has, for each of you comes from a neutral place, a place of pure unconditional love, for He sees all of you as worthy as special, and all of you have so much potential within the countless opportunities he graces in your direction each day. Accept his love, his light, his endless presence, for he has accepted you. And so it is. I am Arkea Lady Mercy Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com